and hello everybody and welcome back to Little Inferno. I have a feeling this will be our final, uh, our final entry into this, this playthrough, this playlist. Because we are so damn close to all of our, uh, of, of getting all of the, the combos and stuff. So we should be able to see what the big surprise ending is. So, let's set it all on fire. There's the book combo. We have... Wow, we have death, we have locusts, we have... I think we have just about everything. I think we have unleashed the apocalypse here. Yes, burn for me. Alright, and poof, everything's just gone. No ashes, just a little wisp of smoke. That's all. All right, uh, so let's open up here and see what do we got next. We have, damn, uh, spam cloud and online piracy. So obviously we have the internet cloud. Uh, spam would probably be with email. And then we have piracy, which we had a pirate. Yes, we had a toy pirate. All right, uh, what, what do we have after that? We have It's a Sign, Sunflower, Milky, Mini Milky Way, and Future So Bright. Okay. All right, so, Cloud, Email, Pirate. There we go. All right, and it just starts spouting out spam. <laughs> nice. I don't know which one did that, but that is awesome. I think that was the online deal. So, well, that was easy. Uh, so what do we have now? We have, oh, this way down. And we're supposed to do signs, so here's a railroad crossing sign. What next? Sunflower... Which would probably be the flowers and, and, and the sun? Yes, we have a miniature sun. Okay, and we also have a mini Pluto, which I'm sure will probably be part of that. Uh, let's get the flowers. Um, probably the mini moon, and I think that's it? Because then I think it's just the sun, and we should be good to go. you get you okay so yes uh, once we get the Sun I think we'll have uh, all of that well no that's oh and then if we say this way's down oh so it's actually adjusting the gravity in the game so if we say hey nope that way's down everything's gonna fall in that direction that's awesome that is a neat little, a, a neat little thing. And there's our train. Damn my house right next to the tracks. Whoa, no, 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 no. Uh, thank you, thank you. I think I broke the sign. Yes, I did, okay. So, um... I need money. I don't think I bought the computer worm. So I need massive amounts of money for that. Um, yes, we'll take you. Thank you. So like I said, I don't think we've burned the computer worm yet. No, you don't. You guys aren't getting away. No. Ah, damn it. Okay, so let's draw in all the bugs we can. And we will just amass our 600, our 600 gold or try to. Do you remember? Remember what? Flaming logs and robots and sausages and tiny galaxies and batteries and squealing bugs. An exploding solar system. We threw them in the fire for hours and days. 
but they don't matter. They were, desi they were designed to not matter. Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace was designed not to, to not matter. It's time. It's time to burn down your house. Whoa, sugar plums. I do not like that. Uh, okay. So I think she has gotten all of, uh... Okay, so we have enough to buy the, the, the mini sun, but we still need the sunglasses, I think, for future so bright. And then, we sh then we'll be able to just, like, burn everything. So what do we need for the sunglasses? The sunglasses are 80. Wow. Um, okay. We need some buggies. Some bug, bug, buggies. Can I get a few bugs? Can I get a few bugs, please? All right, so this is probably where I'm going to cut some of it because, um, yeah, I need to save up 80 gold. Okay, so apparently I hadn't, uh, I had not burned the musical notes yet, so it was telling me, hey, you need to burn this before we continue on, because you have to actually burn everything. And apparently 999 gold coins is all you need. It's time to go! Do you remember? Some things are more special than other things. There are four objects. One, two, three, four. There is something special about them. Do you remember? Burn them together. It's time. Okay, so... I need uh, the broken magnet, the jar of fireflies, the exterminator, and the sunglasses. But he didn't have this. But I sent him the sunglasses after. After he, like, burned down his own house. All right, so fireflies. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Settle down. Settle down, guys. Settle down. Thank you. I don't want you to break yet. Exterminator, sunglasses, and magnet. Burn them all with the letter. Collect all the money first. Um. Error, error, error combo. Okay. 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 I, I get, um. Uh. Um. What? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Can I set you guys on fire now? No, I can't. I still can't set you on fire. Um, I don't like what's happening here. This is not, this is, this is not normal. Oh, I have to click on you guys to break you. My money, my money is burning. No. Uh, excuse me? I thought you specifically weren't a face. What? <laughs> what is happening? Um. That apparently was my house. Well, they wanted me to burn all my possessions. Uh, apparently, they got their wish. Ow. I'm just a little boy in a striped shirt. It doesn't have a home now. And apparently, I can only go side to side. I can't go, like, down, down that... Tomorrow, Bucks Bank, 2%. Hey, can I go into the hotel? Because I'm need i going to need a new place to live. Hey, you! Special delivery! Uh, I just found out I exist. Don't worry. 
Just the friendly neighborhood mailman making the rounds. We're all going to be fine. Now, what was your address again? I think I burned my down my house. Ah, yes, your house, uh, your home address uh, appears to have been recently, oh, delisted. Are you moving? Don't forget to file a change of address form at your local post office. One moment while I find your letter. I know it's here somewhere. You smell familiar. That's not creepy at all. Oh, well, I've delivered, let's see, 351 packages and letters directly to your house. Each package and letter I place right there, right beside you, right beside the fire. You never even had to turn around. Excellent, discreet service. On time delivery, through snow or rain, but mostly snow. It's been getting colder lately, hasn't it? Aha! Here's your letter. Uh, thanks for your excellent service. I can't wait to read it. Thanks, but I'll probably click through as fast as I can. No, I, I will read it. I'm sure it will keep you warm. Salutations. Sincerely. All the best. Kind regards. Goodbye. We're all going to be fine. Sure we are. <gasps> Ooh, it's so bright! Are you still there? Remember a long time ago? You and me, and the wall between us? Sounds like a love story. And a better one than Twilight. We threw our things in the fire for hours and days. It was so warm. Like a bug in a mug in a hug. We thought we'd never run out of toys. We thought we'd never run out of time. Where did they all go? Ha <laughs> ha! Up up the chimney like everything else. Oh, there's something I wanted to tell you. Did you know? I didn't burn up. I kind of figured that by the fact that you're sending me letters, sugar plumps. The house burned down, and then I left. Just like you. There's a whole world out there. You can go as far as you want, but you can never go back. What? I'm going to the beach, getting a great tan. Oh, thanks for the sunglasses. I can't believe how fabulous I look. Smidge, your friend, Sugar Plums. Well, might as well keep on going. I mean, I'm not going to stand here and... Oh, hello. Um, what, 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 what's their story? I want to, I want to talk to them. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, they have nothing to say. That's nice. Tomorrow Corporation. I want to go in there and talk to them about their crappy little fire, my little inferno fireplace set. Huh? Hello? Yes, welcome. The gates are secure. You probably shouldn't be outside. And did you used to be a bus driver? Oh, you do you recognize my work? Yes, I seem to have made quite a name for myself in the lever operating business. Maybe you've heard? I'll be giving a semin seminar at the upcoming Future Innovations in Lever Operating Technology Conference. You should stop by. I can introduce you to some excellent networking opportunities. Bring your resume and business cards. The machinery won't operate itself, you know. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Tomorrow Corporation. The future is tomorrow. You might recognize such Tomorrow Corporation toys as Fisty's Gem Pop. No and ew. Not necessarily in that order. Or My Childhood, the game. Or Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace. You look like you might be a fan of one of those three. All covered in soot there. Will you open the scary gate so I can go inside? 
Can I open the scary gates? I have one single job. The only job I was hired to do. The one thing I do better than anybody else is open those gates. So if you're going to ask, ask again with drama. Will you open those gates so I can go inside, please? And... What? Think of the drama! This is the moment you pass through the gates. What's in that building? You could find a room that glows as bright as the sun. Or you could find an elevator that only moves up. You can find a monster with a heart of gold. Or a fantastic summer internship. But whatever is through those gates, you'll never be able to not know again. So, once again, with feelings. Gate operator! Open those gates! Nimble fingers, here we go! Stand back, let's see what happens this time! I'm guessing the gates just like, open. Right? Um... Okay... Excuse you... It was really quite rude... Quite rude... Seriously, um... You know, I think I have a packet of gas eggs around here somewhere, um... No final brrrr. Feel like I'm in a Michael Bay trailer or something. Whoa, now this feels familiar because I don't know if you, I don't know if any of you guys realize this, but we've play I've played the um the follow-up game, the uh the, the, the human resource machine. One more great, more great information about tomorrow coverage. Complaints, lawsuits regarding the little infernal entertainment fireplace. Speak to an operator. Um, zero. I'd, I'd like an operator, please. Hello, how may I? Uh, I have a complaint about my house burning down. Yes, thank you. Please provide the following: your home warranty, alphanumeric product code, your 16-digit personal customer identification validation number. Your little infernal certified certificate of authenticity you received with your product. I'm pretty sure I burned that. Um, I would like some more information. The future is tomorrow. Also, see our website. Please go there. What are you writing? Uh, this communication may be recorded for quality or evaluation purposes. Yes, I'm writing a novel in the other window. In each brief pause. Between each word. Um, I don't have a fax machine. Can I... Okay, you seem good at multitasking. What's your novel about? It's a smoldering work. A mystery. A romance. A forbidden affair. A murder. A heart burns. It's pretty much an autobiography. Um. Smokestacks over Burnington. A thrilling follow up to my last novel. A terrible secret. Oh, you were the one. 
Uh, can I call it that elevator? Yes, thank you for your request. But the elevator is for authorized Tomorrow Corporation employees only. May I use your restroom? Yes, the restroom is just up that elevator. Okay, thanks. Bye. The future is tomorrow. So, yes, go on up. Damn, I didn't realize this was going to take so long. This may wind up being a couple... Uh, I may wind up having to break this up into a couple episodes here. Which was not what I intended to do. I intended this just to be the, like the final episode and just boom, done. Miss Nancy? Oh, welcome. Oh, it looks cold out there. How long has it been snowing? Oh, it's been snowing for as long as I can remember. And it's been getting colder. Every day colder than the day before. It can't last forever. Oh, but it's so beautiful, isn't it? Who are you? Oh, yes. I'm Miss Nancy. Welcome. Have you enjoyed yourself? You made the fireplace. I built this company. I hope Little Inferno kept you nice and toasty warm. My house burned down. Yes, Tomorrow Corporation regrets any inconvenience that may have been caused. You look like you could use a hug. Oh. Do you remember? I sent you a coupon good for one free hug. Oh, come on. A long time ago. Did you bring it? No, I burned it. Oh dear. You burned it. I hope it kept you warm. Mmm. What canvas? Do you see it down there? Look as far as you can. I see the balloon. Everything you see. The whole city. It's slowing down. And then one day it will stop frozen like a family photo. That's horrible. Shouldn't you do something? It's nobody's fault. We can't control the weather. Why is everything... If everything... You burned down your house and you left. Where will you go next? Uh, you can go as far as you like, but you can't go back. And you can't come with me. Are you leaving too? Oh yes, I've just finished packing. You're just in time. I've been here too long. I'm not getting any younger. Although I do look fantastic for my age. There was so much I wanted to do. Where did it all the time go? Oh, it's easy to forget. I remember when I wanted to be an astronaut. And explore the cosmos. And compose a symphony. And drive to the bottom of the ocean. And discover lost cities. And build new cities. And become a model. But before you know it... Oh. You're going to burn down your house too? <laughs> why should I do... Why should you... Do, what should you do when you've already got everything you've ever dreamed? Uh, I don't know. Dream bigger. Oh, thank you for stopping by. It's been such a pleasure. It's time. It's time! Whee! What did you do, woman? Oh, she built a big-ass rocket ship, didn't she? Yes, yes she did. And she's blasting it off from right outside the building. That's gonna that's that's gonna set everything on fire. That is a really, 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 really tall rocket. And with the portholes on the side, that wasn't like the the tank for the fuel. You don't put portholes on the side of fuel tanks. Well. Okay then. Where do I go from here? Can I look in the telescope? Can I use the telescope? Well. Apparently that's it for the Tomorrow Corporation.
guess we'll go back down. Bye. Hope your book comes out all right. So we'll continue on then. Wow. There's woods out here and people are just like sitting at home burning stuff. And damn. Um, into the road? <laughs> Literally. You're the weatherman! Breaking weather forecast! A clear horizon! As far as the eye can see! Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Hoo-wee! Here we go! Just close your eyes, walk forward, and believe. Okay, I'll just walk off the edge of this big scary cliff and believe. Here I go. Hooey! Hang there, kid! <laughs> just kidding! It's all sharp rocks and sharks down there! <laughs> and, uh, whoo! That's a long fall! I can take you. Up, 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 out of the city. But then, you're on your own. And you go, you can go as far as you like. But you'll have to pay as you go. And you can never go back. You sure you're ready? I am, absolutely. Breaking weather forecast. The sun is so big you can almost touch it. This is the beginning of something brilliant. Reporting from the weather balloon, over the smokestacks, over the city, good night. How long is this flipping game, man? This is insane. Little Inferno. I think this is it. I think we are done. Yes, these are the end credits. Huzzah. So, okay, that is a weird, weird game. I mean, it's fun getting all the combos and seeing all the weird stuff that they come up with. And the whole story at the end was... <laughs> Um, yeah, that was completely unexpected. I just expected to go boom and, like, wake up in hell or something, but not, like, to actually have, you know, a, have the, the, the ability to go walking around and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that is... Wow. And then, of course, from here, they then came up with the uh, human resource machine which we've played some of and gotten some some of the storyline story plots and stuff. Um but yeah, so that is Little Inferno. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio. Um, that, that looked painful. That looked like a wedgie from hell. Fan theories are what you have when the credits roll, when the book ends. And you're left thinking, what will happen next? Or how did that happen? Or why did that happen?